Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my apologies for being away, man. Uh, I've been away for about two weeks or more ever since the Derek Chisora fight. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to come on and talk to you guys real quick, man. I was thinking about kind of checking in, giving you guys a well, you know, update of why I haven't really been on. Um, and I just came across something that uh, is really uh, Exhibit A <clears throat> as to why I really don't upload as much as I used to. And uh, I just want to have a, just a casual conversation with you guys, man, especially, you know, my longtime subscribers and viewers and commenters, man. Um, just kind of want to talk to you guys, man. Um, <laughs> you know... Um, I turned 40 years old, man, uh, at the end of May. And, uh, guys, uh, this male soap opera bullshit drama <laughs> that we call boxing news, you know, uh, I just can't do it, man. I can't do it. You know, uh, <clears throat> I got a life, a family, career, you know, bills, you know, uh, I got important things going on, man, and uh, I just can't be consumed with, you know, the male soap opera drama. <clears throat> I can't. You know, um, how many hours and hours and days and months were wasted discussing a Joshua versus Wilder fight that we never got? You know, I'm constantly seeing these videos uploaded talking about the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford fight, right? A fight that it seemed like we were going to get and we may not get. A fight that should have been announced as soon as the Ugas fight was done. You know, uh, you know, these these rumors and what this person's saying, that person's saying, and this and that negotiation, this and this. Like, man, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to deal with it until they officially announce the fight. That's how I feel about this shit from now on, man. You know, Ryan Garcia beats an old Fortuna that he was a heavy favorite over. And uh, they talking about Ryan and Tank, Ryan and Tank. When PBC and Floyd Mayweather, they have come out and said they only interested in doing in-house fights. You know, uh, <clears throat> they don't have the best relationship with Oscar. You know, so why are people, man, oh, Tank said this, and Ryan said this, and oh, Floyd said this, and Oscar, oh, man, we're going to get this fight, and all of it. you know. You know, are they going to send Tank to the zone? You know, all these kind of things, man. You know, is the zone going to want to let Ryan go to uh, Fox or Showtime? You know, so, man, uh, I just, I just cannot waste my time listening to a boxing talk, hopeful, wishful thinking about this kind of stuff, man. I, I can't. I, I want to hear about real shit. If they sign the fight, they announce it, okay, that's one thing, but I, I, I can't deal with it no more, man. I can't. All right? So that's why I really haven't been, been coming on talking the boxing uh, and there have not been any fights at all I've been interested in betting on. Uh, the next real thing on my radar is the Adam Kanaki fight because I think he's done, and I think the guy that they matched him up against will probably beat him and stop him. All right, so uh, I will be looking into that fight now. Talk about that when it comes up. But uh, you know, guys, uh, I was sitting here about thirty minutes ago, and I got an alert on my phone. <clears throat> uh, Shady Slim uploaded a video talking about how Errol Spence responded to a Keith Thurman fight, right? And so, uh, Errol Spence has tweeted out uh, something like saying like, uh, when he said never, he meant it or something like that in regards to fighting Keith Thurman. You know, you know apparently he said in the past he'll never fight him and he is, you know, affirming that you know he he will never fight Keith Thurman all right and uh guys this is a, a shining example as to why 
I'm not talking about the news stories and you know when it comes to boxing anymore, man. You know, uh, guys, it's 2022, man. I've been I've been watching boxing since the early 90s, right? It has gotten to a point to where boxers are actually coming out and saying that they will never fight another boxer, man. You know, uh, where are the, the real men in the world? Where are the real men in boxing? You know, to say that you will never fight somebody, man. Why, why, why is that to be praised and respected? Why, and, and there will be idiots online who will be clapping and stomping and yeah, yeah, shut him out. Don't give him a fight. Don't give him a payday. Don't give him a title shot. You know, why? Because he was in his feelings because when he was on the come up, Keith Thurman was not interested in giving him a, a, a title shot as a voluntary or something, you know. Uh, but is, is Errol Spence quick to, uh, jump in the ring with, uh, Boots Ennis or Virgil Ortiz? I don't seem like it, <laughs> you know. Um, man, this is, uh, it's pathetic, guys. It really is. Um, you know, I don't even hear the female boxers coming out saying shit like this, man. Uh, it, somebody tell me is uh, are the women the female boxers coming out and saying I'll never I'll never fight Clarissa Shields I, I'll never fight Savannah Marshall I'll never fight Amanda Serrano I'll never fight Katie Taylor you know I, I'll never fight uh, Michaela Mayer Alicia Baumgarner you know are, are these women saying these kind of things man the women are stepping up giving us you know, the bigger fights compared to men's boxing. They not saying this shit. They unifying, going for undisputed. You know, giving us big fights. Meanwhile, you got the men, the so one of the so-called top men in the sports saying, I'll never fight somebody. It's a sad day in boxing, man. It's a sad day in combat sports. You know. Um, <laughs> whew. Oh, boy. You know, uh, I haven't heard anybody say this, man. Uh, I'm going to say it right now. You know, uh, I wish the IBF would come out with a statement and give Errol Spence orders uh, that he has a 30-day window to finalize an undisputed fight with Terrence Crawford or he has to immediately fight Jerron Boots Ennis as his mandatory you know uh, I wish I was Daryl Peoples alright the president of the IBF and I could make such a ruling I would have made it months ago alright hell I probably would have gave him a month after the Ugas fight and if I wouldn't have heard uh, you know got official fight news I would have put it on the table. Errol Spence, you got 30 days to make the Crawford fight. If you do not, Jerron Ennis is your mandatory, and you have to fight him by this date, you know. And then we'll see how fast he'll want to make the Terrence Crawford fight, you know. Because it, if he gets in the ring with, with Boots Ennis, I predict that he gets stopped. Probably within six rounds, all right. So, uh, oh, man. Uh... You know, I, I've seen people saying that, you know, he need to do something. He holding up the sport, holding up the division. Man, when was the last time Errol Spence had a, a, a mandatory, IBF mandatory? 2018 with Carlos Ocampo? You know, four years. Why Why the IBF giving Errol Spence so much time uh, to fight a, a mandatory? You know, uh, <laughs> and he, he's never fought one, one with the WBC. You know, clearly, uh, I don't think Danny Garcia was not a mandatory. You know, man. So, uh, man, I don't know, man. This is this is a sad day for boxing. You know, I, I guys, I can't come on in and talk talk this shit, man. I can't I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this shit no more, man. These guys ducking fights, not giving us fights, making excuses. Now you got guys coming out flat out saying, "I'll never fight this guy." 
you know, and then people, you know, like two weeks ago, a week ago, whatever it was, wanted to come on and criticize Rolo Romero, run him down, call him a clown, a troll, you know, all this and that, because he said he'd go up two divisions to fight Errol Spence. You know, and I, I'm praising the guy saying, you know, just like I did, Kell Brook, when he moved up two divisions, you know, I, I think Errol Ar- Spence might have said something that, uh, that Roll didn't like or whatever. And Rose was like, yeah, I'll go up and fight the guy. You know, I, I want to fight him. I, I want him. And I was saying at the time when people were criticizing him, I was saying, look, we need to respect this guy. We need to praise this guy, man, for wanting to step up and give us a fight. Instead of saying, oh, man, man, Errol, he just playing, man. I mean, we cool. I, he, he too big. I wouldn't fight Errol Smith. He's too big for me, man. You know, well, what is that? You know, this is the fight game. I don't want to hear that kind of shit. So uh, I, I praise a guy like Roly, man, who say he'll go up two divisions to fight, a, you know, an Errol Spence. You know, like a Kell Brook go up two divisions to fight a Triple G. You know, guys, could you imagine five years ago in 2017, you know, 2016, could you imagine when it was Errol Spence time to get his title shot if Kell Brook would have came out and said, man, I, I ain't never fighting Errol Spence. I ain't never fighting Errol Spence. Could you imagine the backlash that Kell Brook would have got for saying that shit? Oh man, he's scared. He ducking, man. Vacate, man. He, man, he a punk. He this, that, nothing. They would call him all kind of names. Man, Kell Brook would still still be paying the price for that shit, man. But Errol Smith can say it. He gonna get. He gonna get away with it. His fan base gonna clap him up, down, praise him. You know, denying him a fight. And. uh... I just, man, I just, it's shit like this, man, make you fall out of love with the sport, man. You know, could you imagine, um, uh, you know, in, in football, if uh, if um, Patrick Mahomes said, man, I, I ain't never playing against Tom Brady. I, I ain't never play, playing against, uh, you know, Matthew Stafford. What, what kind of shit is that? <laughs> you know, I mean, just, just uh, apply to other sports, man. You know what? What if uh, uh, Steph Curry was saying, "Man, I, I ain't never playing against LeBron James again." On and on and on, man. Just pick the sport, pick two names, two teams, and then the, imagine one saying they'll never play against the other. Only in boxing, man. Sad, 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 sad. And this guy's supposed to be a champion. This, this, this talking from a champion now. Oh, man, I'll never fight that guy. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. So, I think that's it, guys. Man, I think I said everything I wanted to say, man. Uh, your boy doing all right, man. I just can't I can't talk this sport, man. I, 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 why am I going to waste time talking about fantasy fights, fights that ain't going to happen? You know, people going to be talking about this Ryan and Tank shit. I'm not believing a word or the fight happening until they announce it and sign it and it's official. Then then I can start getting into the, the back and forth talking, the hype and all that. But until then, I don't want to hear it, man. I do not want to hear it. You know, I'm tired of hearing about Terrence Crawford and, and Errol Spence news. Oh, it's close. Oh, this this the hang up, that the hang up. This person saying this, this person saying that, and this is gonna be the split and all this kind of shit, man. I'm tired of hearing this shit, man. I'm tired. You know, I'm tired, man. I'm fed up. So, <clears throat> really, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it, man. But it's a sad day in, in in boxing, sad day in combat sports. A champion, a supposed champion. Coming out on social media saying he will never fight another guy. Now, if he was saying he'd never fight him because he was a drug cheat, because he failed multiple drug tests, or something like that, okay. Or if he was suspicious, the guy was ducking testing, okay. I, then I would understand, all right. I would understand that shit. But if, if that's not the reason, you gotta give it better be a damn good reason, you know. Uh, not because I don't like him, I don't want to give him a payday, man. I don't want to hear that shit, man. I don't want to hear it. So, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think about it, man. If I miss anything, I'll leave a comment in the comment section. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, sad days in boxing, man. I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.